Your unique story. Our global audience. Global One Media. Welcome, everyone, to Global One Media's exclusive one-on-one interviews with company executives sharing insights into their unique journey. This is a platform to help our viewers make informed investment decisions. I'm your host, Ashley Berry, and today, Grant Smith, CEO of Pond Technologies, is with us. The company has developed a proprietary growth platform that transforms CO2 into profit. They're listed on the TSX Venture Exchange as Pond. Grant's very excited excited for this conversation today. Thank you for having me, Ash. All right, so let's jump right in. Could you tell us about Pontech and its vision and of course the unique advantage your company has? Certainly. Well, again, thank you for having me. Pond Technologies is about a 10-year-old startup. We have over the last 10 years raised around $40 million to fine tune the technology. And our technology is one where we capture CO2, so mm-hmm. it's CCU and we funnel that CO2 into large photobioreactors. Those are tanks filled with special LED lights. We sparge the CO2 into the tanks and we grow algae. We have a very unique platform. We have 33 global patents around the technology Hmm. and we are ready to move forward and expand into the uh, global marketplace. Fantastic, it sounds like fascinating technology. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about the abatement technology and how it works specifically to help our viewers kind of understand exactly the process. Certainly, well, we like to say we monetize a waste stream. So our technology is really that that connects to an emitter. So the emitter could be a natural gas power plant, ethanol plant in terms of heavy industry, could be a food production facility, distillery or brewery, any steady source of carbon dioxide. Two tons of CO2 grow one ton of algae. So we're really taking that carbon, we're releasing O2, so it's a photosynthetic growth model, and we grow that algae at scale. So we're really growing algae 24-7 as we're abating carbon dioxide 24-7. Wow, it sounds like really innovative and green technology. What about the sister firms, Pond Naturals and Pond Biotech. What is their value proposition and what's unique about those specific companies? Certainly. Well, they were developed because we really have two sets of clients or customers. We have those that are out there that are looking to abate their carbon and really get a return on that investment rather than just putting it in the ground in terms of sequestration. We utilize that carbon so we can obtain gold standard carbon credits for our clients. And we created Pond Naturals as a potential offtake to actually sell that algae into the marketplace. And I'll back up, the company was first started, when it was first started, it was founded as Pond Biofuels. The market then was biofuels, fertilization, maybe some land and soil cleanup and water cleanup. In the last five years, the market in terms of algae awareness and the usefulness of algae has really increased. I'll give you some examples that you would know like Beyond Meat. A lot of these companies that are out there making, you know, vegan protein type products, they're looking for clean, green, sustainable protein. Mm -hmm. That's what Pond can produce. We currently have a number of customers within Pond Naturals where we're selling algae. So to that emitter that comes along and really doesn't know what to do with the algae, we created Pond Naturals as a revenue stream to help sell that algae into the marketplace. The algae can be used for, as I mentioned, animal feed, uh, human feed. We can take extracts from the algae that are components of the algae, like antioxidants, certain natural color pigments, and they're worth a lot of money. So that actually has a marketplace value now that we feel will really help pay back the plant. So in addition to the value of the carbon credits, the algae has a return on investment because we're now selling that algae into the market, again, for animal feed, human feed, extracts, and the like. The Pond Biotech division really fell in our lap. We, We had signed a deal with a major Fortune 500 company, and they were concerned about COVID. They they gave us a protein that was modified in algae, but no one that they knew of, universities and people in the industry, no one could grow it at scale. We were the first company to grow it at scale, and, and boy, did we grow it. So it ended up in a diagnostic test kit. So we grew pond-grown antigens that are on a plate, you prick your finger, and it'll test for immunity, or it'll test if you have COVID. Where this leads to is we've quite disruptively grown proteins in algae. So again, algae in the pond growth system is a delivery system, quite disruptive compared to pharmaceutical. And we're looking to maybe spin that off or sell a license in the biotech industry using ponds technology. 
Really fascinating. So you say 10 years. So so where did this idea come from? Because it seems like not only you you have one, you know, the one proprietary technology, but then there are other sort of spin-offs. And I and I have to think, you know, with with your mission that millennials, Gen Z audience really would be very interested in what you're doing. You know, how can you maybe give them a little more information um, about why it's important sure. to invest now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the idea really came from the beginnings of what I would call early LED. Uh, the technology was developed by our founder with, with a, a, the US aerospace industry to emit super bright lights onto the windscreen of a fighter jet. So. Mm -hmm. A pilot could read the lights, even looking to the sun, you needed super bright lights on the windscreen. That had one challenge, heat. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, lights create too much heat. The, the technology was mastered using different heat pumps and such to get you know less heat. Algae grows at a certain temperature, but again, can't have too much heat or the algae will cook. So that really was the beginnings of pond technology. So it was an LED technology. Then it was discovered that super bright lights, intense lights can grow algae with carbon dioxide. And that just came from a research paper that, that our founder read and he created pond biofuels. And here we are today as, as pond technologies, as the markets evolved, there's more and more uses for algae. There's now you know an appetite for emitters to say, what do we do with our carbon by 2030, 2040, 2050? And can we monetize that CO2? So we feel, de depending on who the customer is, whether it's heavy oil and gas, you can grow that algae, reduce their carbon, they get the carbon credits, the algae goes into the into cleaning up you know, the oil sands or the tailings ponds or putting life back into the topsoil. And then as you go up the chain, you're into animal feed. So we're feeding you know, salmon, oil, and protein. That's what is very, very high in algae is oil and protein that salmon eat. Why are farmed salmon eating corn and soy that are low in protein and low in oil? So we're starting to see this shift and algae seems to be on trend. And we feel coming into our commercialization stage that we're entering, it's perfect timing. The market is mm -hmm. at a perfect place for pond to, to grow. It sounds like several win-wins. Let's talk about the one key milestone you're squarely focused on right now. And are there any catalysts that investors may be interested to learn about? Sure. There's only so much I can say with, with what we have on our plate, but I would say we have a fairly robust pipeline. We have a number of companies coming out of COVID that have you know traveled to Pond. They've come now and they've seen the technology. We have a very large scale demonstration plant currently hooked up to a cement factory where we are growing algae off of CO2 from a cement factory. Uh, they're our third largest shareholder, very supportive. And they've allowed us to not only fine tune that tech, but we've received all of our patents off that technology. What that's really becoming is an end-to-end -end solution in terms of a large demonstration plant. A lot of customers are now coming. They're coming to you know, visit the plant, tour the facility, and then they can see it in action. And then they can visualize at their facility. So if we took our CO2, installed 20 of these tanks, we could abate you know, 10,000 tons of CO2, grow 5,000 tons of algae, and that might represent $5 million a year in algae sales for mm -hmm. that plant to help pay back their investment. So again, our pipeline's full, phones are ringing. We have a number of commercialization proposals on, on the desks of, of many companies where they're looking at us as part of their carbon abatement solution. So again, I wouldn't say we can abate millions of tons of CO2 on a cement factory, but could we take 10, 15, 20% along with the other advancements that they as a company are doing? We're part of that whole carbon abatement solution. And again, monetizing that waste stream that they currently have a challenge in dealing with. Very interesting. Sounds like some incredible innovations underway. Grant Smith, CEO of Pond Technologies. Thank you for your time and for sharing your exciting story. And we, of course, look thank forward you. to sharing more from Pond Technologies with our audience. Thank you.